More fun with solar power beacons. This time a range test. I'm using the same beacon as described before. One transistor as an RF crystal oscillator, a flashing LED, and two transistors as a multivibrator to provide some modulation. When your experiments are finished and you want to retrieve the beacon, you go out again with the pole and you put the pole under the hook and then you just lift it out of the branch. Of course this works best if you pick a tree carefully, one without too much brush around the branch. This is a test featuring low power beacons located at different spots around the bay. To receive, I'm using an FT817 and a magnetic loop that covers the high HF, low VHF part of the spectrum. It's ideal for pedestrian mobile operating and receiving experiments. There's a big difference between when you're out over the water in the clear and a few metres inland. Here, the signal eight kilometres away is very strong. Now, we walk inland and the signal is steadily getting weaker. The hash from power lines also isn't helping either. What if you want to make your solar beacon sound distinctive? In a previous video, I mentioned how you could connect LEDs in different ways. Here's another variation. Here, I've got one flashing LED on the audio oscillator and another flashing LED controlling the RF oscillator. Because the LEDs are flashing at different rates, they get in and out of sync with one another. That creates a long-term repeating cycle. As you can hear in the background, for some of that cycle, the tone is modulated when both the oscillator, the audio oscillator that is, and the RF oscillator LEDs are in sympathy. But when they're not, then the RF oscillator may be transmitting an unmodulated carrier. That provides a repeating pattern over three or four seconds. This has been an interesting test and I'd encourage you to experiment with solar powered VHF beacons. Or if the antenna is of more interest, check out my ebook, Hand Carried QRP Antennas. Just search the title on Amazon or go to my website, vk3ye.com and click on the link.